Today I played the career of the Ezepa kid. Ezepa. This is Luis Pereiro, or the kid who says Ezepa. If you guys somehow do not know who this is, you guys have been living under a rock. Luis de Pereiro does have 8.4 million followers on TikTok. This Brazilian kid is known for his tickers and his wild celebrations. But in today's video, we're going to be playing his career as a professional footballer. As of this moment, there's no information on him, his age, or whether he's going to be professional or not, or if he's playing for an academy, but all I know is his name. By the way, shout out to the random Instagram video I found who made his face, and I just copied it, and it looks absolutely amazing, man. But boys, you guys might be wondering, why Fluminense? But when I think of this kid, I think of Vasco da Gama because of that one shirt he has. However, Vasco da Gama is not available, so I went for Vasco da Gama's biggest rivals, which is Flamenco. However, Flamenco is not usable in the game either, so we have went for Flamenco's other rivals, which is Fluminense. What we do in these videos is take him nine seasons throughout the career and take account his goals, his assists, his trophies, and his Ballon de Oro. At the end of 2030, we're going to see how great a Sepa kid became. But first things first, boys, we have to release every single striker in the club so the Ezepa kid can play every single game. Okay, boys, here we have a 63-rated 16-year-old Luva de Pereira or Ezepa kid. I was going to make him 69 just for the jokes, but I think that's way too high rated for him. Boys, here in the first season and maybe the second season as well, we'll be here in Fluminense. We are allowed to move anywhere we want, but I'm going to try to keep it as realistic as possible. But boys, first things first, you already know he is a striker. You already know what development plan we have to give him. And it's going to be the poacher. Okay, boys, with all of that out of the way, it's time to sim to the end of the first season. Make sure to leave your predictions down below. So, boys, I hate coming to Brazil because of how the league works. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to have to do it because it just fits the video, man. So, the Brazilian season does start around March, I do believe, or February. And it ends in November. So, by the time we go to the next season, it might be season number three, technically. But, boys, it's time to sim to the end of the first season and see how the Ezepa kid does in his first ever season as a professional okay boys we have reached the end of the first season with Lua de Pereiro let's see how he did come on boys I'm backing this kid for greatness as you can see they're in the top five did they finish in the top four I don't even know how this league works by the way and they finished in fourth place that's not too bad for his first season of professional football as for the Recopa I still don't know how this works they weren't in it as for the Sudamericana they were in the round of 16 so they started off in the round of 16 like I said I don't know how this works but they have won Seara SC on pens as for the quarterfinals they went ahead and beat Santos 3-2 during the semis, boys. Can the Ezepa kid win his first trophy in his first season of professional football semifinals? They beat Lanús, bro. They're against Corinthians. Please tell me they have one hand. Let's go, boys. He has won his first ever trophy and his first ever time of asking. But, boys, here we have the Ezepa kid. Five plus in rating. 68 rated now at the age of 17 or 16. But, boys, it's an amazing growth by this kid so far. Okay, boys, the question is, how many goals did Lua de Pereiro, the Ezepa kid, score this season? And it's going to be... 10 goals you know what i'll take it okay for a 16 year old at 63 rated in the brazilian league which is now one of the easiest league in the world 10 goals is not too bad double digits so i'm probably gonna try and sell them because i want to get out of this horrible brazilian league man it's so confusing okay boys it's officially season number two in january he has reached a 69 rating i'm gonna go ahead and sell him because i don't want to be in this brazilian league any longer he just wasting his time here so let's go ahead and transfer this to him but for now boys we're gonna give him the payment plan and that is going to be poacher as well but like i said boys it's time for him to go once he's in brazil i'm tired of this league i don't like the way this league works okay boys guess what offer just came in our favorite offer to go ahead and upgrade our strikers almost every single video where we start off in an obscure league az coming for us and you know what i don't care i'm gonna accept it because at this point if we don't accept this one we're gonna be stuck in brazil for another season okay boys halfway through season two we have joined az Alkmaar. he's going to be playing next to probably who we we are familiar with because we always join AZ Alkmaar. For Lua de Pereiro this season, we're gonna have to give him poacher again. We need to improve his finishing so he scores tons of goals. But boys, halfway through the season, as you can see, during fourth place, AZ Alkmaar, let's see if Mr. Ezepa kid or Lua de Pereiro can go ahead and win the league title or something. Can he save their season? Okay, we have reached the end of season number two for Lua de Pereiro. Let's see how he did. Okay, boys, I'm confident in saying that I'm pretty sure we finished in the top four at least. So as we scroll up, where did AZ Alkmaar finish? And fourth place exactly you know what it's a good season but you know what boys it'll be even better if they can win the orange baguette cup and come on no they did not even finish in the final man no european football for the Ezepa kid and the rest of az so let's see how he did this season you know what 71 rated it's not too bad i kind of forgot what rating he did start off at in the beginning of this season it may have been like 67 but you know what 71 rated is not too bad it's his first ever european season how many goals do you guys think he scored i think he scored last season he scored 10 on his first season maybe around 12 let's see how he did he only had half a season remember so he did score 
Where's he at? Six goals. You know what? I'll take it for only 16 games. It's not too bad. 16 goals and three assists and one trophy. It's not too bad for the Asepa kid in only two seasons. <laughs> okay, boy. Season number three for the Asepa kid. And of course, we're going to keep him here. Give him a full season to shine in AZ Akbar Cutters and see how he does. A fourth place finish, I do believe, gives him a chance to be in European football. I think in the playoffs. But okay, boys. As for the development plan, I think I think we have to keep Poacher on. You know what? Let's let's give him mobile striker because he needs his long shots up because he scores bangers. As you guys saw from the clip, of course we need to keep this video realistic. He is amazing at scoring long shots, so we have to improve his long shots. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and sim to the end season three, and it's hope that Luba de Pereiro does a little bit better this season. I'm aiming for maybe 15 goals plus, and if he reaches at least 76 or 77, we can go ahead and move clubs. First Ballon d'Or winner of this video, and I swear, if it's Kylian Mbappe, I'm I'm so tired of that man winning the Ballon d'Or. But let's go ahead and check, and yeah. Of course, who else? Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season number three. Please, Esepa, please get plus 15 goals. I like how I just call him Esepa, like that's his name, bro. Like, that's not even his name, but come on, Luba de Pedro. Come on, let's see how he did. Let's at least finish in the top two. And as we scroll up, we're back in the top four once again. I think that's Conference League football, but okay, then we finish in second. And oh, boys, we got second place Messi now by like eight points. As for the Orange Bucket, can he win his second title in his career? And no, boys, PSV win it this time. Okay, boys, they're in Group A of the Europa Conference League. Let's see how far they reached it i'm aiming for the quarters but okay they finished in first place in the group round of 16 that they win and they lost 5-4 to celtic okay a plus six for luva de Pereiro, the sepa kid now out of 77 rated at 18 years old is not too bad not only that but it's kind of good to see a couple players growing around him as well but boys at the moment his best ever season is 10 goals in his first season with fluminense let's go ahead and see how he did please plus 15 goals and he has scored 16 goals you know what i'll take it zero assists once again but 16 goals and 41 appearances for a 17 slash 18 year old is not too bad okay boys in the next season i will transfer list them to see what kind of offers we do get if we don't get an interesting offer i do not mind staying at az Alkmaar for a third season <laughs> okay boys season number four for luel peredo the Sepa kid like i said we're gonna go ahead and transfer list them to see what kind of offers we do get if an interesting offer comes in we will take it but if not i don't mind staying here another season like i mentioned before boys we have gotten a, a very interesting offer aston villa the villains want the Sepa kid to join the english premier league we have never gone to aston villa in this video in these kind of videos but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and take it man okay boys in season number four we have joined the villains and you know what it's a pretty decent team other than the striking position. So I kind of see why they wanted him. The, he is now the highest rated striker next to Louis Berry, who is at a 76, which is pretty good. But yeah, Danny Ings has left. Oli Watkins has left. So Esepa is going to have to carry that front line. Again, I know his name is not Esepa, but I, I'm just used to calling him that now. As for the development plan today, what, is, what does he need, man? Should we just... Let's give him Poacher again. We need him to score tons and tons of goals for this Aston Villa side. Okay, boys, with a pretty decent side, we have given up playing Europa Conference League football to join Aston Villa in the Premier League. So let's hope they deliver, man. And let's sim to the end of season number four. Okay, boys, season number four, Ballon d'Or number two. I don't even gonna, I'm not even gonna have this up. I know Kylian Mbappe won it. And whoa, okay, Joe Felix has won it. I'm, that's pretty good, man. Okay, boys, it's the end of season number four. Come on, I said back, kid, shine. Okay, boys, I'm hoping that maybe we could get European football. As we scroll up, are we in the top 10? And yes, we are. Are we in the top 8? We finished in 8th place, Messi now on 7th by 1 point. And then the gap to 6th place is actually very big. FA Cup, come on. There's many of chances to win something here. And they have actually won it. The Asepa Giras won the FA Cup with the SS Aston Villa side against Burnley in the final. Can they win a double though? Carabao Cup? And no. Boy, somehow, some way, the Asepa Kid has won the Carabao Cup. But look, now a plus six or five for the Asepa kid reaching an 82 rating now not only that but his partner louis berry also grew a lot which is really good to see but you know what this video is about luva i do believe it was a plus five so now at the age of 19 he's becoming one of the better strikers in the world let's see how he did this season okay boys his best ever season was last season for az Alkmaar scoring 16 goals was he the top goal scorer in aston villa this year and no, he got 10 goals. Louis Berry takes the cake. But you know what? 10 goals in his first year in the Premier League is not too bad. Now at 42 goals, 6 assists, and 2 trophies, the Asepa kid is having a pretty good career so far. <laughs> okay, boys. Season number 5 for Luba de Pedrero. So far, it's been very good. But I'm hoping for his big season this year in the Prem. With the team being really good, I think they can seriously push for European football. And the Asepa kid will be the main part. As for the development plan, I think his finishing has to be spectacular already. And as we take a look at it, it's at a 93. Let's go ahead and train something else we need to get his physical stats up in my opinion so let's go ahead and do target man 
Okay, boys, reaching 50 goals in his career in only, I mean, five seasons. I mean, it's not four seasons, five seasons. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season. I think he will do a lot better in these next coming seasons. Okay, boys, third Ballon d'Oro in this video, please. I mean, I'm not expecting the Sabaki to win it. I just, I just don't want Mbappe to win it, okay? Because we know how the Ballon d'Oro works in this year. Basically, you need to be at least 90 plus to win it. And it goes to Vinicius Jr. this time. Okay, I'm satisfied. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season number five. Come on, Lua de Pereiro. Please be your breakout season. Okay, boys, I'm hoping for a little bit of improvement. Top six finish. As long as we're above seventh place, I will be happy. And as we grow up, we're in the top ten. Please don't finish eighth place again. And boys, we missed out in sixth place by one point, man. Oh, we're so close. Last year, Carabao Cup winners, I think we're in the FA Community Shield. And as we check, we were, but we lost to Liverpool. Can we win? It was actually the FA Cup we won, not the Carabao Cup. Can we win the FA Cup back to back? And no, Man United have won it. Carabao Cup, can we win it for the first time? No, Burnley have won it. How do Burnley keep winning trophies? However, boys, we were in the Europa League. I checked. There is no way we won this, okay? I don't think the team is good enough, but we're in Group B. Please tell me we at least got in second place. And first place, okay, by 12 points. By 12 points. By one point with 12 points. Round of 16. Where are we? We beat Anderlecht 7 5 quarterfinals. We're playing against Frank. Okay, we beat Frankfurt 3 1. Semis. We beat Villarreal. We're against Juventus in the final. There is no way we won this. There's no way. And no way, boys. We've actually won it. 3-0 against Juventus. That's insane, man. I know why we won the Europa League final. 87 for Luva. 87 for the Esepa kid. That is insane at the age of 20 years old. Not only that, but look at this team, man. I was going to sell the Esepa kid next season, but... We officially have Champions League football, so let's at least keep him here for one season. Okay, boys, 10 goals in his opening season at Vela. Please tell me you beat that. Please tell me you're the top goal scorer. You have to beat Louis Berry. I know Louis Berry is a talent, but come on. Come on, Louis Pereiro. And you have scored 17 goals. You know what? It's your best ever season. Louis Berry is just popping off right now. But 17 goals and 2 assists is not too bad. Two more trophies to his name as well. Four trophies is not too bad considering the team he has played for. Okay, boys, it is season six, and Luva quickly became from an average striker to one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Now, at an 87, it's just amazing growth, man. Currently representing his national side, let's go ahead and see what the man plan we can give him this season. He has the potential to be special. His potential is probably still at a 99. And as we look through, what gives him the most growth? And I think it might be mobile striker. Okay, boys, winning the Europa League and the FA Cup is no easy feat being at Aston Villa, but let's see what he can achieve this year. At an 87 already, he could possibly reach a 90 by the end of the season. Okay, boys, fourth Ballon d'Oro, I do believe. Mbappe, please don't win it. And Mbappe has won it. It's taken him three more years to win a second one, but he has done it once again. Okay, boys, it's the end of season six. Come on, Esteba kid, win the Champions League with Aston Villa. Okay, boys, come on. Please be in the top four just to have Champions League football, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave regardless because I'm pretty sure we didn't win the Champions League. I'm going to try to go to like a top tier side where we can win the Champions League. But as we scroll up, then we finish in the top four and... Okay, Luel Pereiro has made Aston Villa a top four club, which is amazing to see. Fourth place? No. Brentford are in fourth place. Third place? Okay, Aston Villa. Not too bad. Third place, not too bad. Who won the league? Burnley have... Burnley has won the league title. Boys, what has this video come to? A third place finish is really good, but Burnley winning the league title was amazing. But we have won the FA Cup for a second time in this video. Congratulations, to Sabah Kid. Carabao Cup, can you win it for the first time? Burnley have won it. I have no idea what is going on with Burnley in today's video. Okay, boys, we're in the Super Cup. We won the Europa League. I'm pretty sure we lost. We're playing against Champions League winners. And... Oh, my God, boys. What is going on? We have beaten PSG. That's insane. Okay, boys, it's time for the Champions League. I might I might even want to stay here if we somehow want it, but we go to Group D, and first place, we beat Madrid in the group. That's insane. Round of 16, we beat... Oh, no, we lost to Atalanta in the round of 16. Eventual winners were PSG, so maybe we should link up with Mbappe at PSG. Boys, he's 92 rated. A plus five for Luva. Boys, he might be the, he might be the only player to reach 99 in this series. He's insane. Okay, boys, yet still to reach 20 goals in the season. Can he do it this year? He has 92 rated and 30 goals. Finally, the season I was looking for. 30 goals for the Asepa kid. Slowly reaching 100 goals in his career and almost reaching 10 assists as well. He has below 10. Six trophies, however, is absolutely amazing. Boys, I'm tempted to stay at Aston Villa, but you know what? Listen to next season, season number seven. Transfer list them and see what offers do come in. If no good offers come in, I will stay here at Villa. Okay, boys, season number seven. Just look at this. Team. Look at just look at Louis Berry, man. He's the one that makes me want to stay. Emmy Martinez as well. But let's transfer this time. Let's see if we can go for a super club. If not, we will stay here. Okay, boys, this might be the last 
of Luel Pereiro, the last of the Acepa kid at Aston Villa. Boys, we spent almost a whole month, and you know what? I was very disappointed about the offers. There was really bad offers, like other to go who have a trash team, and so do Juventus. So you know what? We're gonna stay here for another season, at least for Aston Villa. So as for development plans, I th I think he might be the first one to reach 99. To be fair. I'm not even kidding with you guys. Let's go ahead. Let's give him a target, man. Okay, boys. Champions League football once again. Come on. I think we have a huge chance of winning it. Somehow, some way, Burnley is shining in this video. But let's go ahead and sim to the end of Season 7. Come on, Acepa Kid. Match your 30 goals once again. Okay, boys. Fifth Ballon d'Oro of this video. Come on. The Acepa Kid now has a chance to finally win it. And let's go ahead and check. And it's going to be given to... Kenny Mbappé wins his third Ballon d'Oro of the video. Okay, boys, it's the end of season number seven. Luva, please deliver the Champions League to Aston Villa. Okay, boys, as we scroll up, I do believe we should be in fourth place. Burnley took a wild job from winning the league title last season. But as we scroll up, are we in the top four? And yes, are we in the top two? Boys, do we win our first ever Premier League title for the Acepa kid? And yes, boys, we have by a whole eight points. League title one. Can we win the Community Shield as well against Burnley? And... That's two trophies for Aston Villa. Can we make it three with the FA Cup? And no, Leicester City have won it. Can we win our first Carabao Cup though? And that's a, tr a domestic trouble for Luba de Pereiro. Champions League, come on. Let's win the quadruple. Okay, they were in Group A this time. Let's at least reach past the round of 16, but let's hopefully win it. We have won the group with 14 points. Round of 16, then we get eliminated once again. And no, we beat Dorman 4-1. Quarters, and we lost to Roma 4-3. Boys, with two seasons left to go, he's at a 95. He might be the first player ever in the channel to reach 99 rated. Just look at this team, man. Louis Berry at a 93. Kudus at an 88. Jacob Ramsey at an 87. Emiliano Martinez at a 90. This team is just absolutely insane. Okay, boys. Coming off his best ever season at 30 goals last season. Did he somehow beat it this year? And yes, he has, man. 32 goals and 4 assists. Not only that, but winning the domestic treble. Okay, boys. Surely he has the huge shout of winning the Ballon d'Oro next season. Okay, boys, season number eight, the second to last season. Surely he should win the Ballon d'Oro. And you know what? Let's just keep him here for the rest of the video. I know, I know. You guys probably want to see him go to my United, to Barcelona, to Madrid. But you know what? Aston Villa just became a super side with him here. So let's try to win the Champions League here. Okay, boys, the question is, can this kid still grow, man? And at this point, and boys, he can. Oh, my God. What should I give him, man? What? Okay, so there's four. Let's give him target, man. We have to keep it there. Okay, boys, season number eight. Let's see him to the end season. We have to win the Champions League. This season or next year. These are the last two seasons. But let's see if a Seba kid can win his first ever Ballon d'Oro. Okay, boys, please. Luel Pereiro. This is bigger than winning the Champions League, bro. This is bigger than reaching 99. For him to win the Ballon d'Oro. A man just making TikToks in a, a field somewhere in Brazil. Became a professional footballer. Can he be the best player in the world officially? And please, please. Let's go, boys. He has won it. That is his face. I recognize his face anywhere. Boys, he has won his first ever Ballon d'Oro at Aston Villa. Okay, boys, the end of the second to last season. Can we win the Ballon d'Oro and the Champions League in the same season? Okay, boys, as we scroll up, I definitely am convinced we finished in the top four. And I'm going to scroll up really fast I'm confident. Yes, boys. Top two. Boys, did we win the league title back-to-back -back with Villa? And yes, we have, boys, another league title for the Acepa kid. Okay, watch over in the back. Can we get another domestic triple? Community Shield won by Villa again. 5-1. Demolishing Leicester. FA Cup. Already a domestic treble, and no, Chelsea have won it. One last chance for another domestic treble, back-to-back. -back. Carabao Cup, can we win it? And no, boys, Man City have won it, but the, the treble is still up for debate. Okay, boys, if we win the Champions League, not only will we get a domestic treble, but an actual treble as we go to Group B, and we finished in second place. Round of 16, come on, boys, please tell me we have won it, and we beat Bayern Munich 4-2. That's insane. Quarterfinals, we beat Leipzig 4-0. They were in our group, right? Oh, no, the Salzburg, okay. Semis. Please tell me we made it to the final and we lost to Leverkusen on penalties, man. Two more trophies for Luel Pereira, but he's got stuck out of 96. One more season to at least reach 98 to tie with Chele and Kutias, but let's see what happens, man. Okay, boys. His best ever season was last year, continuously breaking records. Can he get more goals than 32 goals from last season? And 36 goals, man. This kid just keeps getting better and better, man. Two more trophies for him, 36 more goals, and a Ballon d'Or to his name. The only thing he is missing is that Champions League, and hopefully he wins it in his last season. <laughs> okay, boys. One last season for Luva. One last season for for a setback, man. 96 rated. Can he reach that ever infamous 99? My man has won every single trophy except the Carabao Cup and the Champions League available to him. Come on, let's give him the man plan. He even won the Ballon d'Oro before a Carabao Cup, but he can still go up. 
Let's finish him off with a cheeky little poetry and see if he reaches 99. Okay, boys, one last season to win it all. He can maybe even win a Ballon d'Or back to back. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and 17 in season and let's see what happens. Okay, boys, last season for Luba de Pedro. Can he win back to back Ballon d'Oros? And yes, he has, boys, two Ballon d'Oros for him. That is insane. This might be the best ever rewrite, man. Okay, boys, the last season for the Asepa kid. Please tell me he won the Champions League in his last chance. Okay, boys, at this point, I'm not even going to scroll up because I know we finished in the top four. And yes, we have, boys. But can we win the league title three years in a row as we scroll up? And yes, we have by six points, boys. This Aston Villa side is so dominant. Did we win the community suit as well? And no, we lost in pens. One trophy so far. Can we win the FA Cup for a third time in this video? But no. Arsenal away, Carabao Cup, please, for the first time ever in this video, and no, my United have won it. Boys, last chance to win the Champions League here. Group C, we have won in first place. Come on, boys. Come on, Villa. Come on, Esepaquet. Round of 16, did we win? We lost to Milan in the round of 16. No Champions League for the Esepaquet in this video. Boys, even though he won two Ballon d'Oros, he still could not reach past a 97 rated. But you know what? It was a brilliant effort. Just look at this amazing team, man. Th this team is absolutely insane. I'm so glad I did not leave. But boys, the last three seasons, he's been improving and improving. Can he get more than 36 goals somehow, some way? And boys, he actually has. He just continues to improve. 39 goals and one assist in this season. If we continue, he'll probably reach 50 goals in a season. But that is the end of this video. Okay, boys, here are Luva de Perero, the Esepa Kids' final stats. He played for Fluminense, AZ Alkmaar, and then he only played for Aston Villa after that. Three clubs in his career, 196 goals, just missing out on that 200 goal mark. 16 assists, 12 trophies is absolutely insane, and two Ballon de Oros. If you guys didn't enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe because we bring out challenge videos like this every single day. Make sure to check out my last video, the last goalkeeper to concede a goal. Won 10 million dollars.